there this is day two and rule two of our free seven day course from Adept English. So if you remember yesterday I was telling you that the first rule of Adept English is to listen and that it only works if you understand most of what you're listening to. But if you focus on your listening in this way it will massively improve your understanding of English and hearing lots of English will also improve your fluency in spoken English. Well, today I'm talking about the second rule of Adept English, which is to practice. Practice means repeating your listening. So listen lots of times to the same thing. So many of the skills that we learn, we learn through practicing. If you were learning to drive a car and you had your first driving lesson, you would not then say, oh, there you are, now I can drive. We know that that's not going to work after one lesson. These things take time. They take time and they take practice. The more driving you do, the sooner you will pass your test. There are lots of examples of this from sport from music, whether it's tennis or football, learning to swim or ride a bike or play the piano or the flute, you become skilled at these things only through practice, through repeating them. And we know that language learning works this way too. What maybe we don't know so well is that when we hear a new word or phrase or a new part of a verb just once, we're not going to remember it. If we hear a new word five times, it's still probably not going to stick. We need to hear new words and phrases around 30 times before we remember them. Do you remember the word brain from yesterday? The brain is in here. There's a part of our brain which is automatic. This is the part in which our skills are put are learned, we practice them enough, they become automatic. So to be fluent at a language, the language needs to be in the automatic part of your brain. No translating. And listening lots of times to the same recording helps your understanding become automatic. Like a child learning their first language. And this is different from the usual way of learning a language on a course. This way means that you stop translating. You stop going from your language to English and then back to your language again. Instead, we encourage you to think in English. You know exactly what the words and phrases mean without thinking about it. It's a bit like if you hear your favourite song on the radio. You can probably sing along with it. Have you ever written the words out and tried to learn them? Probably not. No, you know all the words to your favourite song because you've heard it so many times. If you learn English in this same way, by repeating and repeating and repeating your listening, you will quite quickly arrive at understanding the most commonly used words in most English conversations. And what's even better is that when you come to speak English, the words that you want to use will already be there. You just need a little bit of practice at speaking. Understanding always comes before speaking, always. It certainly does when children are learning their first language, and you can see that. So if you understand more than you can say, that's okay. It's the only way that you can learn. So if we practice, if we repeat, we learn skills which become automatic. I've used the example before in the podcast Kung Fu Fighting on karate and how young children can learn really complicated moves by repetition, by practice. I've also given you the example of learning to drive a car. If you can drive, 
You may remember your first driving lesson and how difficult it was, but you also know that now you can drive along and think about something entirely different and you still arrive safely at your destination. I'm sure also that you don't have to think very hard when you're speaking your own language. That's automatic too. So Adept English aims to make the English language automatic for you. So how many repeats do you need to do? How many times does the little child hear, would you like some orange juice, before he or she manages at last to say, "ju"? Well, it's quite a lot of times. But a child needs to develop their brain and their muscles to speak, so it takes them longer. For us adults, we need to hear a word about 30 times before we can remember it automatically. So the more times you listen, the more times you hear words spoken in English, the more quickly you'll learn them autom and they'll become automatic and you'll become fluent. The good news is that if you can understand this recording, you already have a good vocabulary and listening to Adept English will increase your vocabulary still further, naturally, bit by bit. In the courses and the podcasts, I focus on what I think may be the new or difficult words. But all the time, you're also hearing and learning hundreds of words with every article that you listen to. So a typical article on an Adept English course may contain, say, 1800 English words, 1,800, some no doubt repeated, but that's still a lot of words for, say, a 12-minute recording. If you listen again, you've heard 3,600 English words, and if you listen three times, 5,400 English words, and so on. It will take time. It's not going to work overnight. Language learning never does. But if you do this regularly for, say, three months, you will be aware of how much you've improved. And yet listening isn't really hard work. But you must work to understand each recording before you repeat the listening. Listening without understanding doesn't do anything at all. So it's really important that you understand. It's good to listen to the same recording lots of times. The first time you listen, it's okay if you don't understand all of it. If you listen again, you'll probably understand a bit more the second time. Aim to understand around 80% and then listen a few more times. You'll probably understand the rest by context. Your brain will make the links. For this article, for example, if you made a vocabulary list of all the words I'm using, it would take you a long time and it would be a long list. And if you tried to learn it that way, it would be really hard work. Instead, why not try listening to this recording with the MP3 version perhaps five times? Download it to your phone or your tablet Put your earphones in and listen to it five times while you're doing other things. See you tomorrow for Rule 3.